decision to come back when so many of your former teammates didn't? Is, is this extra special for you to know that it was all worth it and the right thing to do? Uh, I believe so. Uh, you know, um, it's almost been a year since, you know, everything went down and just to, you know, look back 365 days and, you know, to see the turn it's made, you know, I'm just, I'm grateful, you know, that I, that I stuck it out and stayed, you know, where I was, but that's just part of my upbringing, you know, just being loyal, you know, and staying through thick and thin and, you know, you know, it's always going to pay off. So I'm just grateful to be in this moment. Uh, I believe, you know, obviously you have to improve on weaknesses, and I, I believe I did that, working on being able to use ball screens, being able to make plays with the ball in my hand. Um, but for me, it was more of an internal thing. Uh, I believe is, you know, believing in myself and, you know, believing that, you know, everything that I'm capable of, you know, is possible for me, you know, and not thinking that it's so far off. So I think, you know, the growth in my game came from uh, an internal sense and building my confidence and building belief in myself and just having an inner knowing that, you know, I am what I believe I am. <laughs> Ivy talked about the, the biggest jump that you, you took in your game was off the bounce and, you know, being able to put it on the floor, uh, attack, you know, attack closeouts. You know, last year everyone knew you could shoot it. How do you feel like you grew in your game? What, Looking back on it now, what do you feel like allowed you to win this award? Uh, what allowed me to win this award is my teammates, uh, my coaching staff. It's you know I'm always gonna put the work in. I'm always gonna prepare myself. But at the end of the day, I'm one player. Um, there's still 15 other guys that I go go to war with every single night. Um, so to have those guys, you know, as my brothers, as the as my soldiers that I go to war with, you know, that's that's why I believe I won the award. Um, you know, a team is finishes first in the American, not just a player. So um, that's that's my answer. My teammates is what is why I won this award. Tyson IB said that early in the season he coached you and Dexter uh, hard because he wanted you guys to set an example that, that let the new guys see that he was going to coach you guys and they would be coached too. Did you know that was going on? Did you have a sense that you were being asked to kind of set an example in that way? Uh, not, not, you know, directly, but that's just how I carry myself, you know, always knowing that I got to set the example. You know, I can't say, you know, we got to do this, we got to do that, and I'm not living that myself. So, you know, I knew, you know, that as a, as a new coach and having, you know, two leaders, he was going to, you know, definitely push us to set the example that nobody gets away with anything easy. So I, I knew that was going on, but, you know, that's just how I carry myself and just doing things the right way. How excited are you to finally get a postseason? Kind of taken away last year, this year, you guys get a crack at it. That's, it's a new thing for you, right? It's new. You know, I'm going in uncharted waters. Um, I'm excited. You know, last year we got down there and they canceled the tournament and, you know, the country went into lockdown. But, you know, to have the opportunity uh, to play a conference tournament and to ultimately play an NCAA tournament is a, is a beautiful thing. Um, and I'm just excited to, to share that, you know, within myself, but also with my teammates and with Shocker Nation. Can you tell us about that sweatshirt you have on there? Uh, women ball too. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, nobody really knows this about me, but I enjoy watching uh, women's basketball. Uh, I know some. I know a pretty good uh, women's basketball players, some good basketball players, and I like I like watching the game. I feel like you know they don't get enough credit for what they do. You know they put the same amount of time in as we do. They put you know the same amount of grind in, um, and I feel like more people should you know um, take the hat off to them. You know they. They do a great job, you know. There are a lot of women basketball players that have kids, and they're still playing, they're still performing, um, and still meeting the demands as men. Um, so I feel like, you know, this just weighs in awareness of, you know, they they have a, a talent too, and I feel like we should, you know, pay attention to that. Hey Tyson, can you explain? You know, obviously, uh, once you start scoring at a high rate, you know, you're the the top of every scouting report, you know, every team puts their best defender on you. How do you, what was the biggest challenge in, in maintaining that success? You know, once you got it, 
now that you're getting every team's best shot, I mean, did that just kind of force you to, you know, just bring the best out of you just each and every game too to, to keep it up at a high level? Um, I feel like I feel like even though you may, you know, receive the amount of success, you know, whether it be big or small, you always have to keep yourself grounded. You always have to keep yourself even. You know, so for me, it was just knowing that I had to continue to elevate my game, um, but also just staying, staying neutral and knowing that, you know, I've taken one game at a time. I know that I'm going to be uh, keyed in on, and, you know, sometimes the way they play me may not me may not be me scoring a lot of points, but it may be opening opportunities for my teammates. So I just take it how it comes. I know I prepare myself day in and day out uh, and the little things, so I know I'm prepared for each game. Um, and, you know, I'm just ready for whatever they throw at me. You know, that's how I approach life, so I approach games in the same way. Yeah, I mean, for me, I had a personal conversation with him, you know, before we played uh, Houston. And I just, you know, told him right before we went out, went out there to for the tip-off, I just told told him, like, you know, you're still that guy. You know, you're still McDonald's All-American. You're still a five-star recruit. You know, just because you had injuries, just because they tried to tarnish you, doesn't mean anything. Like, that talent is still within you. Like, don't think about it. Just, just be you. And I feel like, you know, obviously he's done his own internal work, but sometimes you need – you know, your teammates to know that they're rocking with you. And he's done an amazing job. I'm so grateful that he decided to come here. I'm grateful that I'm able to learn from him. Um, it's been a joy to play with them, and I'm just excited to see where we take this.